Last time on Game of Thrones. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Alright, so I guess we're, this is the sister, so we're by where Marjorie Tyrell is, and you know who Marjorie Tyrell is if you keep up with Game of Thrones. If not, I'm sure you don't need to know, the game will fill us in. Also, I wanted to mention, I'm assuming since they were mentioning that the Starks are gone, um, not to give any spoilers or anything, but uh, essentially I'm assuming that the Red Wedding event has passed. So here we are. It just gives you an idea of the time frame of where we fall. This is really cool. It's like a treasure chest. Ethan made this for me. That's beautiful. I want that. <laughs> Asher sent me this coin, to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Unfinished letters always hold so much mystery. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. I like the way everything looks like an oil painting versus the look of other Telltale games. It's weird, but it works. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Uh, based on the time frame, I, I can't even say it. Damn it, because I don't want to give spoilers to the TV show. Never mind. Wonders Made by Man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. Like her hair. She could be a fun cosplay, just saying. King's Landing. Beautiful window. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. From it troubles Lady me to Forrester? even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Yes, politics! Game of Thrones politics! It's gonna happen! Is this, is this Marjorie? I guess I should go answer the door. Yep, nothing to see here, folks. Yes, yes, yes. One moment. Is it Marjorie? Is it Marjorie? Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. Who are you? I can come back later if you'd like. What you want? No, it's fine. Come in. When I saw it was someone short, for some reason I was hoping for Tyrion. Begging your pardon, lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. 
Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Oh, good. Hey, sorry, She's nice. Can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Okay, so they I could say what I was going to gonna say. some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Thank you. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. He's a good friend to you have. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Aww. Good night, my lady. Marjorie! Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Yay! I really like Marjorie in the series. From the day if you, you couldn't arrived tell. in my garden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. That's what I was going to talk I about have before. a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. I was gonna she say she reminds- She an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but- She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I was gonna I say this girl- I this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. I was gonna say this girl reminds me of Sansa Stark from her actions. Ready to receive us. And now the situation she's in. Whew! I could not get that out. It is really hard to talk when you're playing this game. What you looking at? <laughs> You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. I was gonna ask her for help, but maybe this isn't the right time. Good luck. Boy, I can't wait to see Cersei though. Oh, Tyrion! Tyrion! Yes! 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 I'm having a nerdgasm right now. Sorry if that sounded inappropriate. It's not. I'm just very excited to see Tyrion. Walk faster! I want to get to Tyrion. Yes! Ah, Lady yes. Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? No, you are looking Lord lovely. Tyrion. Your Grace? Notice the face scar. You can tell what time period we're With at. With your permission, 
Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forester. Yes. Yes. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forester. He's not here, is he? She is. House Forester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. I thought so. Perhaps Why, thank you, Tyrion. Good. The girl did say the Damn loyalty it. was unwavering. She has a talent for equivocation, yet I question what she really thinks. Damn, you're seeing through my tricks. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Oh. Oh, let's Bruce go with Bolton this. also served the Starks, Your Grace. Oh, Marjorie's and worried. And proved his loyalty to the Crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Sure. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening. Why you? are you asking? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I'm not going to say anything. Well, nothing, perhaps. It's hard to tell either way. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a yeah, delightful girl? Try to stay neutral. If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. Oh, if don't use your typical this, Cersei cutting tongue on quickly. me. Thank you, Loyalty Tyrion. Loyalty is such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Is that a dig at Marjorie? Within their hearts. It is. You are a girl from the North here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king... That must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I'm just gonna say I'd be true to the king. I would be That's true to the king. That's what Cersei wants to hear. Your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Marjorie Your Grace. Marjorie told us to say what Cersei wanted to hear, so she can't hold it against us that we said we would serve the crown. Oh, Tyrion. 
I I'll love you. you. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. I don't want to mention the trouble to Tyrion. That certainly I... took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. I didn't mean to humiliate her. It was her. quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I'm not talking. No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you. Eventually. I didn't mean to isolate My her. Sister Come on, and man. I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. Alright, now he's opening up to we us, so I feel like I can trust him more. Can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire Why would your I... discretion. Why would I want to isolate both of them? Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Sansa's Three here! Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. I wish I had more of a chance to explain my choices to you guys. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Yes, but she at least is. It's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, Ooh. you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ninth born? <sighs> Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah! Ooh. What? It's true. Jamie. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate, from what I've heard. Girl talk. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? <laughs> he does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. If you've watched the TV show well, I or the books, him. you'd know why. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? Sarah? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. 
Marjorie, don't this hate is not me. A game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. I'm sorry, Marjorie. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. Yeah, no kidding. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. Mm hmm. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know looks the true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? It doesn't matter what you feel, it only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Yeah, you get to mention it. Should we ask in front of this other woman? It, it, the game's prompting us to, so I'm gonna do it. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. I prefer to speak with you alone. That was a tough choice. Sorry, Sarah. Just, I can't take chances. Happens sometimes. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsey Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and it I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't fear, Cersei. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Poor Marjorie. Tough place to be in. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. 